Hey everyone, Brian here, your honest mechanic. If you notice your temperature gauge creeping higher than normal, or see some of these other worrying signs, it likely means your car's engine is overheating. This is a serious issue you need to address fast before it causes expensive engine damage. Today I'll cover the common symptoms that indicate an engine is running too hot, talk about what causes overheating problems, and some emergency steps you can take to cool things down. Let's dive in. One of the most obvious overheating symptoms is when your temperature gauge reads higher than its normal operating range. Most cars run around the halfway point on the gauge, somewhere between 190 to 220 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, a slight fluctuation is perfectly normal, especially in very hot or cold weather, but if that needle starts bordering on the H or hot area, or it continues climbing higher, that's in sign of trouble. At that point, your engine is running 20 to 40 degrees hotter than it's supposed and risking heat damage to cylinder heads, pistons, and other components. Along with the gauge readings, visible signs like steam or vapor coming from under the hood indicate cooling fluid is boiling or evaporating rapidly, which means it's extremely hot. You may also notice a sweet-smelling steam coming from the tailpipe, which means coolant is getting into the engine cylinders and being burned off as exhaust. Not good! If the engine gets so hot it can't properly heat the inside of your car, that's another red flag. Lack of cabin heat plus steam means you definitely have an overheating emergency in the works. Some other symptoms include louder engine noises from expansion and contraction as temperatures change, the check engine light coming on due to sensor issues, low coolant levels causing higher temps, and difficulty restarting the engine after it's dangerously hot. So, what actually causes engines to run so dangerously hot in the first place? Well, there are a variety of common culprits. The cooling fan not working properly is a big one. The electric fans are supposed to blast air over the radiator to help cool that fluid inside. If they malfunction, heat builds up rapidly. Low coolant levels can also cause overheating, since there isn't enough to properly circulate and draw heat off the engine. That coolant can leak out through bad hoses, a damaged radiator, cylinder head gasket failure, or simply boil over from too much heat. Thermostats that stick shut prevent fluid from circulating through the radiator to lower operating temperatures. Bad water pumps fail to properly pump the coolant as well. Clogged areas like your radiator, fins, or hoses don't allow proper airflow or coolant circulation, leading to heat buildup. Even a faulty temperature sensor can trigger your gauge to read incorrectly and make it seem like there's an overheating issue when there may not be. So in review, watch for high gauge readings, visible steaming and vapors, cabin heat loss, engine noise changes, warning lights, or low fluid levels. Be aware of fan issues, leaks causing low coolant, bad thermostats or water pumps, and blocked airflow causing rapid heat buildup that could spiral into engine damage. If you notice overheating symptoms, take action right away. Pull over and shut off the engine immediately. Don't let it idle and sputter to a boil. This prevents further temperature increases. Pop the hood once it cools to check coolant levels and look for leaks immediately. Top off any low fluid. Feel the upper and lower radiator hoses after cooldown. Both should feel similarly warm or cool if coolant is circulating properly. Start it back up cautiously to monitor the temperature gauge and see if spikes continue after adding fluid. This helps narrow down the issue. If overheating resumes after checking these basics, have it inspected by a professional to test the cooling fan, pump, head gasket seals, and determine where the problem truly lies. I hope this video gives you a great overview of the common overheating symptoms, what causes all that excessive engine heat, and the smart steps to take if your ride starts running hot. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and share.